What's up, guys? Welcome back to another tutorial. Today, we're going to be doing part few of the Psych Engine Lua series. So, in this episode, we're going to be covering Lua images. So, on screen right now is what we're going to have at the end of the video. So, a lot of people end up using this for, you know, distractions and like... You know, you could do note covers or, you know, stuff like that, like stuff that covers your health bar, stuff that covers your receptors or stuff like that, you know. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to obviously go to scripts. And we're going to do images dot Lua. All right. So. Once you are in your Lua, let's just go over, or let's just quickly grab that. There we go. Now, let's cover the first thing. Make Lua Sprite, which doesn't actually add the Lua Sprite, but it does, it defines what the Lua Sprite is going to be like. So to start the tag, this is how we're going to reference it to tween it and stuff. Which we will get into on the later episode. We're just going to call this... Musician. Now the image. This should be the images name of... Mod slash images. You can do a, a custom folder or whatever you want. Let me make an image real quick. There we go. We have an image now. Super simple. So we we know the image file is called Boppy Bo pop up. So there we go. And we actually don't want to do a string for this one. This is just the X and Y value of it. So let's say we want it to appear around the middle of the screen. I'm not sure if there's... I, I'm not actually sure the exact middle of the screen. Uh, you can do some maths and stuff to figure it out, but... I think we're just going to go with like 500, 400. Doesn't need to be perfect. Alright, so now it's made. So we can also do add Lewis Sprite musician. All right, and that's cool. We now have that star. But that won't stay for the whole song. Okay, so we're going to use a tween, which we will go a bit more in depth with in a different video, but not this video. So what we're going to do, want to do is do Queen Alpha Musician. Oh, okay. Um, I'm sorry, this was that's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to do Musician Tween and then Musician, which is your sprite name, and then. We're going to do the value zero. We're going to make it take 0 0.1 seconds. And we're going to enter a linear. So we're not going to go into this in this video. We're going to be doing that on my tweens video. But just enter a linear for now. Let's do function on step hit i talked about this in one of my previous tutorials the uh, the variables one so check that out if you haven't already let's say if per step per step is equal equal to let's say three so very short into the song we're going to it and do musician tween 2 on the musician to value 1 so it's visible 
And let's say it takes 0 0.5 seconds. This one will take one second. B to zero. And we will put this at 16. So there we go. This should make that simple pop up. Uh, because we put this in the scripts folder, it should work on any song. Let's go into Bobby Bow. Oh, wait. What's that? Why is it? Well, why is it all weird? Why is it behind everyone? Now, let's fix that. Also, let's fix that timing. That takes way too long to fade in. But what you're going to want to do is also that's a bit too far but let's do we're gonna set the object camera of musician to HUD which will make it go above everything And there we go, that's a that's a simple pop-up, but that's not all there is to Lua Sprites. So let's just quickly rush through a few other things. So we have set scroll factor. Let's do musician. And then how much it scrolls x and now which it scrolls y i don't actually know what this all means i think it's just how stuck to the screen it is so if it's uh it has zero scroll factor and it won't scroll at all now let's just quickly cover animated sprites this is not a full animated sprite tutorial though so you would just do make animated Lewis Bright. Also, we can just remove this right after because we won't be using it again, but we would do make animated Lewis Bright, and then we would add animation by refix for the musician. We would do another string and it would be the name of the animation we'll just call it idle the prefix this is whatever it's called on your xml so let's say idle animation 24 so the frame rate and if it loops or not and then you can do uh, whoops, I did not mean to do that. And then you can do object play animation. The object being the musician, the animation play being idle. And if it's forced, I'm not exactly sure what forced means, but you know, we don't want to do any of that. And on that note, that's all for this tutorial. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. There will be another tutorial tomorrow, so don't worry. Um, it's probably going to be on tweening, which will go more in depth on the alpha. It'll go in depth on the note moving and movie of objects in general. So we might make the pop up go from the right to the left. Uh, you know, just do some twinning stuff. But yeah. Bye, guys.